Bruchim Aboim B'Shem Hashem, Laskavo Prosimu, welcome, and may God bless us all and bless this Kiev Jewish Forum. The second Kiev Jewish Forum is something that is very, very difficult for us to imagine that it would ever happen. At the same time, we have to thank the President of the Jewish Confederation of Ukraine, Boris Loshkin, who came up with an unbelievable idea, who comes up with a lot of unbelievable ideas, but actually is able to implement them. And after the great success of last year's forum, we decided not to allow any of the challenges and problems that the world is facing and that the Jewish world is facing to get in the way of repeating and even doing a better job with the forum this year using modern technology. So thanks to President Loshkin, and thank you very, very much to the Jerusalem Post for co-organizing this forum with us today. The world is in a position today where many things that we've taken for granted in the past are not only difficult, but they're impossible. And these challenges that we're facing lead us to begin doing some real true soul searching to understand what are the things that we take for granted and where do we get them from. Of course, our health, our ability to travel, our ability to get together. Many of these things have been limited for many, many people and for almost the entire world over the last six months. In Jewish tradition, we use this time of the year to do that soul searching, to prepare ourselves for the Day of Judgment, for the Day of Atonement, for the Jewish New Year Rosh Hashanah, which is traditionally amongst Jews the Day of Judgment when God judges the entire world and judges each of us individually. And we actually, every day before Rosh Hashanah, Do Novirik, we prepare ourselves as if we're preparing for a trial. That means a lot of soul searching. Seeing what did we do last year? What can we do better next year? What was good and what's even better? So it, I think it's unbelievable that we're able to come together at a time like this, in a place like this, in Kiev, which for these few days is becoming the center of the Jewish world. Jews from all over the world and even non-Jews. Jews, Jewish community and the world community will come together to discuss issues that are important to the world Jewish community. And they'll be doing it in Kiev. Electronically maybe in Kiev, actually in Kiev, but Kiev is becoming a center of the Jewish world. Something that nobody ever dreamed would be possible even 40 years ago. And I think that we have to, first of all, thank God for the ability that we have here as a community in Kiev, in Ukraine, to organize and come together and work and do things and rebuild a community. And looking around the world, we see how the world changes in ways that we never dreamt. The Kiev Jewish Forum has been brought together to discuss these issues that are facing the Jewish world, to discuss the issues that are standing today, omdim ala perak, as we say in Hebrew, the issues that we are faced with every day. And the Jewish world has become smaller through technology, larger in numbers, we're spread out, but we are still so much together. So, I'm sure that this forum will be very, very successful. I hope that we'll be able to gather at least as much interest, if not more, from people throughout the world overcoming the challenges that we have of meeting in person. And I pray that God give us all a great year, a great new year, and a year that we can overcome all of the challenges that we have as individuals and as a community. And as we say in Jewish tradition, the Shana Habab Yerushalayim, I look forward to joining the Kiev Jewish Forum next year meeting everyone in person in Jerusalem. Jacqueline Vamduja, thank you so much. Spasiba and Todaraba Shana Tova.